get back here with Arbiter and today we are going to be looking at uh, wire uh, beacons and detection. Now, um, this is, consists of two categories, detection and beacon, obviously. Um, there's very little stuff to go through so I'll go through in quite a bit of detail. Um, for this I'm going to spawn myself a little workspace and it's going to be a nice desk. So here's my nice little desk. Now, I'm going to spawn first a target finder. Now, this is a target finder, it's quite normal. Um, pick a model, the minimum range and maximum range is basically a giant bubble, um, so to cover the number of people, the, the range of the map, I've just made this as big a number as possible. <coughs> you can set who you want to target. Um, I w I wanted to target NPCs at the moment. I don't want to target players. See if I was to say target players when I spawn it, it's got it says target acquired and that would be me. Or you can always just set it to not target owner and obviously it can't find anything because there's nothing else on the map to target. But for the moment I'm not gonna target players. Um, I'm gonna tell it to target NPCs instead. You can tell it to target to target um locators or hoverballs. If I tell it to target a target a locator and then I was to spawn a locator such as this it's it's acquired the target now I was to move it about it would it would follow it um so basically a target finder finds a target on the map by itself though it doesn't really do much you can add some other settings to it here but I've never really needed to go through anything like that um the name filter and entity filter that also doesn't make any sense to me I've never needed to use it <coughs> so uh, I'm going to set it to paint target which means that when it finds a target, such as if I was to spawn another locator, it goes red and this basically just indicates who's been targeted. Now if I was to spawn an NPC, as I've also told it to keep an eye on NPCs, such as let's spawn Alex, <coughs> right, it's still targeted the locator and it can only hold at one target at a time. So I'm going to spawn a button, it's going to be a non-toggle button and it's going to just have a value of 1 and I'm going to make it an up button put that next to it and then next target and while up to the button and you can see it says next target hold target hold so press next it should have hopefully it targets the next closest target so if we move that further away okay this this isn't working which is idiotic shucks <coughs> so if I was to delete that uh, well, it's just not targeting Alex. Oh, did I update it? Uh, target finder. Target NPCs. I didn't tell it to target NPCs. Now it's found Alex. And if I was to find, if I was to then spawn Barney, there, it just targets the closest person. But if I was to press next, it cycles through the targets. So you can see. There. So that's essentially what's happening. So I'm going to keep that button there and wire that up again because I just deleted it. Next target. Okay. Now obviously if I were to wire something, let's say um, I don't know, ter um, essentially the target finder itself does nothing is what I'm trying to get across here but I don't know how, it, how I would express that. You need to use a beacon sensor and a beacon sensor works. It outputs information about the target so it says split XYZ, output distance, bearing, world position so I'm going to put, um, I'm just going to use GPS for today, but bearing and output is quite good, especially when you're making auto turrets or something like that. So I'm going to output GPS coordinates. And you just need to wire it up so you say the target is equal to the target of the, of the target finder. Then if I was to spawn Alex again, it is outputting her GPS coordinates on the map. Now, you might be wondering what kind of things can I do with this? And quite frankly, you can do a lot. I'm gonna just I'm gonna spawn one toggle button and a normal one. Now, this is in Stargate props, and it's the drone weapon. If you don't have Stargate, you don't really need to have it. It's a good it's a good mod in itself, but you don't really need it anyway. And good news is you can wire this up. So I'm gonna say launch on that button and lock on with the toggle one. 
Now, you can set up x, y, and z coordinates. So you say uh, the x input is the world x, y is world y on the beacon sensor, and z is z on the beacon sensor. Now, so if I was to fire this now, which there it's fired, and then lock on, it kills Alex pretty effectively. Now, if, even if she was moving about, I would still be able to track her. <coughs> so, let's say... Move her well over there. Uh, I think... I keep I keep accidentally turning off the the lock on. There you go. <laughs> I keep accidentally turning off the lock on. So there, that's basically your drone launcher, and it shows you, it it can lock on to someone's GPS coordinates, and that's very useful. Another thing I found out the other day, if I was to spawn a text screen, um, if I was to spawn it there, ignore that it says resource farm. <coughs> if I was to use the gate entity. It, this is a lot of things that I haven't got around to using yet, but I only found this the other day. Is that if you say name and spawn a name gate, a name entity, and then wire this up, the entity to the target finder, it outputs the entity that it's targeting, and you can say the string of the text screen is equal to the entity. Now, since there's no target selected and I'm at the moment not targeted, so if I say target players, it is now targeting me, it's outputting my coordinates, but it also tells me my name on this screen. So if you want, if you're targeting multiple people, say on a map or a server, <coughs> and you want to cycle through their names, then you can know who you're targeting with this, and that's very useful, I found. And that's quite good. Another good thing with target finding is just when it's found a target, it just outputs a value of one just by itself. So let's say I was to make a door. I know it's a bit of a strange thing. <coughs> but let's say let's say this is a door. Uh there we go. Bit of a strange door. I'm I know. I'm just gonna slide this to the floor. Um, and make a wire hydraulic. And put the controller about there. So, at the moment, okay, so let's say I move the beacon, the target finder to about there, and I'll make the area that it finds in a lot smaller, say 100. So that when I'm standing about here, it can't, it doesn't find me, because I'm too, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the range. If I was to move closer, it's found me now. So, <coughs> I'm going to put in an arithmetic multiply and a constant value of 80. Now I know this is this is very primitive and rudimentary but anyway, B to the target finder so that when it finds me it's got a value of 1 and when it hasn't found me it has a value of 0. And I'm going to make the length equal to the target finder. Uh, the multiply, sorry. So that when it's found me the value is 80 when it hasn't, it's zero. So I want to stand away and let imagine that's a door, I'm walking towards it, and it rises when it's found me. And then it's just black hole and killed me, but that's not the point. <coughs> the point is that it's supposed to be an automatic door and when I find it, it doesn't kill me and it just opens. But obviously the height wasn't big enough. But you get the idea. So a target find is quite useful for just detect uh, detecting people on the map killing them or just doing simple tasks like opening doors or even if you're on some kind of base wall just telling if people are nearby and it can output you can output the distance how far away they are uh, it's just very simple stuff 